That's the whole thing. So that's the whole task. That is not grace, that's providence. See? Providence presupposes two things, right? That's the whole issue at the time here. So. <clears throat> so, uh, Igmar has agreed to offer a six pack to anybody who can do it by next week. <clears throat> You're talking to a very poor man. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll find a way to raise the money, and there'll be a committee that will help cut the expenses such that it will not be too so, burdensome on Igmar, right? That's the issue. So whatever we're doing in the time is, at any point, this has to be on your mind. That's the principle for analysis. If you don't keep that in mind, you're not going to be able to do much analysis. Then you can spot where all the problems are. What's the fifth word in there, one? Number one, the fifth word? Uniquely. It? Uniquely. 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 There. Subject in turn must be reset. So, Tonight, we're going to move into the second. Well, so, in the same way, why would it follow that if there is a providence of God, it presupposes that people have souls? Same thing. Wow. Right? right? This is the this way we're proceeding, right? Any questions about it? Yes, number two. Jump in. Yeah, please. Number two, I don't. What is well, in grace, the person can be passive, doesn't have to do anything, or it is simply dropped in. This is saying no. Must be receptive, but not passive. Therefore, 
how to be receptive is going to be important to the system. What do you have to do to get it or to match it? This is an. This is always present in our discussion. Hmm. So all we need is a couple of readers to do some work. Agree. Well, I'll read. Someone, one, two, three. Go ahead. She raised her hand first. Where Second, are we reading from? Third. Uh, Where to start? I didn't bring my text, so I'll just go by memory. 35? 35? Anybody got an extra text? I don't know. <laughs> Must use Thomas Taylor, by the way, for this work. And I think you'll see why. Well, do, uh, do the load first, and then we'll we'll jump into that. Let's do that and see the difference. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready. Well, I don't know where to start. Uh, first, he took one portion from the whole. Is that where we're at? Uh, and then he took 34C. 34C. Now, as regards the soul, is that what you're right? Although yeah. we are essaying to describe it after the body, God did not likewise plan it to be younger than the body. For when uniting them, he would not have permitted the elder to be ruled by the younger. But as, as for us men, even as we ourselves partake largely of the accidental and casual, so also do our words. God, however, constructed soul to be older than body and prior in birth and excellence, since she was to be the mistress and ruler, and it the rule. And he made her of the materials and in the fashion which I shall now describe. Okay. Answer this now. Why did he need that? Why did he need that paragraph? Would you agree he positioned soul in a certain way? So that it could be... Okay, 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 not bad, see? That means there's something more in there I want to get. Come on, I'll let you go. Well, he says it clearly that the, that the, should be, that the ancient should not be subservient to the junior. But rather? But rather the other way around. Oh, well, what's junior, I don't know the other way around. Well, that the junior should be served, should serve the master. Yeah, so right. serve the mistress. Also, I want you to watch Excellent. metaphors always. Uh oh. Prior yeah. birth and mistress. Excellent. And? Mistress and ruler. Hey, interesting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Why? Because mistress is a woman and ruler of right? so, so, so this soul, what's it going to be? Female. Feminine. And also, I... Ruler. Ruler. Ah. Ah. So what? That's good. What else? It's a terrible translation. Though. Please? It's a bad translation. Of course. That's why we're going to use something else in a minute. Excellence. Excellence. Oh, your mistress is Ah, easy. more. It's prior in birth and it's prior in excellence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I had it first. Okay, try it once more. Want to read it again? Now as regards the soul, although we are a saying to describe it after the body, See, God. we started with the body and dropped the soul in it. Because that was a mistake. Got to turn it around. That was just because that's the way of talking. That's one way of doing it. Is now I've got to correct it. So, God. so God did not likewise plan it to be younger than the body. For when uniting them, he would not have permitted the elder to be ruled How by important the is that word uniting? Thank you, pardon? Uniting. What about for when uniting them? Huh. Go ahead. He would not have permitted the elder to be ruled by the younger. But as for us men, even as we ourselves partake largely of the accidental and casual, so also do our words. God, however, constructed soul to be older than body and prior in birth and excellence, since she was to be the mistress and ruler and did the rule. And he made her of the materials and Fashion, which I shall now describe. Well, okay. Ah, that's pretty interesting. Ah. And now he's going to describe soul. Too. Soul. Go ahead. Ah, the next reader. Go ahead. Two. Midway between the being, which is indivisible and remains always the same and the being which is transient and visible in bodies, he blended a third form of being compounded of the twain. Of the two, that is to say, out of the same and the other, and in like manner, he compounded it midway between that one of them which is indivisible and that one which is divisible in bodies. And he took the three of them and blended them all together into one form. One idols, right? One form. Right. Right. Wow. Um, <clears throat> look here. Therefore, when we talk about soul, that's just another way of being functions, isn't it? That's all. That's all. <laughs> And therefore, he's going to let us know how we can apprehend it when it functions that way. Because each thing, as it functions differently, it has to be apprehended accordingly to be able to see its function. Right? Hmm. Would you not agree there are a lot of animals in the universe? Oh. Is it likely you can line up some people you know and say they're just like a certain number of animals? Sure. Ah. ah. So the whole animal kingdom can be used as a metaphor. The whole animal kingdom? Ah. <clears throat> Unless you meet some people who are beyond metaphors drawn from humans. Agree? Who might that be? Philosophers. Who? <laughs> Philosophers. Who's that? Who's that? Philosophers. Well, Philosophers. 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 Poor right. guys. Well, name one. I don't know any. Here, Grimes. No, no, come on. In the symposium, what does Alcibiades say? He's so unlike all the men he's known that he has to go outside of the human condition to talk about <coughs> fictions. <coughs> like what? Selenoses and Marcios, right? Right, right, okay. All right. But nonetheless, we want to watch the metaphor. All right, here we go. Um, 
Okay? Now, what do you get so far? See, this is being mixed with same different uh, S's. Yeah. And all of this goes in, and all of this goes in. But in order to do it, you need this. Bing, bing, bing. Therefore, what's the difference between soul and being? It's all being. It's all being. But it's functioning differently, right? <coughs> ah. Mm. Well, let's see what we get. Go ahead. Interesting. And you took the three of them and blent them all together into one form by forcing the other into union with the same. And has to force them. Notice, new vocabulary. Hey, new vocabulary. Same and other, or difference. So that's just another name for what? Bing, bing, bing. So he's going to drop this language and push this. But we have to keep in mind that it's still these three brought together into a unity. But you see them. Okay, charge. And when with the aid of being, or usia, he had mixed them, oh wait, all together into one form by forcing the other into union with the same, in spite of its being naturally difficult to mix. And when with the aid of being, essence, he had mixed them and had made of them one out of three, straightway he began to distribute the whole thereof into so many portions as was meat. And each portion was a mixture of the same, of the other, and of being. Right? Therefore, soul is made up of three things. What is it? Same other being, but what's same? Being. And what's other? Being. He's going to drop that third quality, being, and he's going to continue the discussion just with these two. All right? Now, uh, just go a couple, a couple more sentences. One more sentence. Um, and he began making the division thus. First he took one portion. Okay, that's not. Okay. Thomas Taylor, same thing? From where? Same, the way you started, same place? 34C, but indeed. But indeed the artificer did not produce the whole, as we just now began to say, junior to body. For he who conjoined these would never permit that the more ancient nature should be subservient to the younger. But we, as being much conversant with that which casually occurs, assert things of this kind in an assimilative way. While on the contrary, the artificer of the world constituted soul both in generation and virtue prior to, and more ancient than, body, as being the proper lord and ruler of its servile nature, and that in the following manner. Drop. Mistress and substituted Lord and God. From an essence impartable and always subsisting according to sameness of being, and from a nature divisible about bodies, he mingled from both a third form of essence, having a middle subsistence between the two. And again, between that which is impartable and that which is divisible about bodies, he placed the nature of same and different. And taking these, now they are three, he mingled them all into one idea. Hmm. But as the nature of different could not without difficulty be mingled in same, he harmonized them together by employing force in their conjunction. But after he had mingled these two with essence and had produced one from the three, he again divided this whole into becoming part at the same time mingling each part from same, different, and essence. But he began to divide as follows. Okay. Good, 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 good. Wow. Um, 
Hooker. So what? Why is this so uh, important? <coughs> Now we're talking about the soul, aren't we? So we're talking about the soul. Um, what does that third element, which he simply calls your seer or being, what does it do? Go back. What does it do? Mixes, Mixes them? Come on. Mixes, divides. Mix them and have them made one out of three straight away. And begin to <laughs> see, it just, it just see, is he just mixing it, or does the thing that he's using to mix it? become part of the thing that's being mixed. Yeah. <coughs> like some of you probably don't know how to make cakes, but one of the best principles you can use when you're making a cake or anything like that is when you're mixing something, leave the things in it when you put it in the oven. It gives it a an, an, uh, heaviness. Does it not? A heaviness and tasty, doesn't it? More calories. Right? Well, it makes a cake. I don't know if that's dating shells. See, I want it to. I'm just focusing on the fact that the thing that's using to mix them into a one is itself part of the mix. And that's a rather curious mixing tool, isn't it? Right? That's the essence. And it makes it one, including itself, no. into a unit. Water taking yeah. flour and egg, mixing it together, and all of it becoming one thing. It took the water to make the two to two into one, and the water becomes part of the mix. Well, you know, look, look then. Yeah. Then, is there something, therefore, in the nature of the soul that has this? I could still, see this is all gone now, see it's all gone. That's all gone, it's all in, there's nothing left over, and therefore this becomes its totality. Right? Agree, it's a totality. So then, would you say then, uh, it's still going on? Yes. No, it's Or is it static now? No, it's no, complete. It's now it can generate. It's dynamic. That's got to be. Well, that's the issue. So is it dynamic or is it static? And that's all we need for the moment. Okay. All right. Because he could have said, and being mixed it up, and after it was mixed, it departed. He he, but he doesn't do that, he right? Does what? Divides it again. Pardon? He says it says he divides it again. Yes, 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 yes. So that's that's it. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay, now we come to Lambda. Trina? Low uh, first he took one portion from the whole. Then he took a portion double of this. Then a third portion. Half as much again as the second portion. That is, three times as much as the first. The fourth portion he took was twice as much as the second. The fifth, three times as much as the third. 
the sixth eight times as much as the first, and the seventh twenty-seven times as much as the first. Okay. Uh, mean analogy, mean analogy, right? Uh, So, would you agree here is a mean analogy? Yes. Is this an a mean analogy too? Is this a mean analogy? Is this a uh, main analogy? <coughs> There's something curious, is Take a look at that. See, this is easy. The extremes, 1 times 9 equals 3 times 3, right? Uh, 2 um, is... Uh, uh, 2 times 8. Pardon me. Uh, I'm off my trolley. Three. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So therefore, we have two sets of main analogies where the mean term is always even. We have two that are always on. Right? Three and nine are odd, right? So within this, we have two mean analogies. Uh, with even terms as the mean term. <coughs> and we have two. I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, in the Greek world, even is feminine, odd is masculine. Huh? So the very heart of the nature of the universe he is creating has a feminine masculine principle contained right within it as a central feature of a mean analogy. Right, agree? Now, he didn't have to do that because... Uh, as you know, uh, women were kicked out of the garden. And therefore, they shouldn't be granted equal status, should they? No, they were picked. That's a little fairy tale. But he's putting it where? Right in the nature of the soul. 
right next to them. The whole creation, the whole... Hey, this is nothing other than what? Hey, suppose one is same... Other. Hey, we're going to get same and other coming in here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Watch the way it sneaks in now. Now, between these two... <clears throat> He's going to build two more main analogies between each one of these central terms, he's going to find a space between these numbers to substitute two other kinds of mean analogies. Right. Right. So that the whole thing is a composition of mean analogies, three kinds of mean analogies that disperse themselves in this way. Would you agree the idea of harmony is going to be central? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three kinds of mean analogies. Now, he knows there are four. And he didn't use the fourth. He only uses the fourth in the Republic. And the fourth kind is the uh, irrational. Uh, so, here then we have, these are all geometric mean analogies, everything in here. Each one of these, each pair, is going to be an arithmetic and a harmonic. mean analogy. That's where we're going. So therefore, right, uh, so as you go down here, if you fill in the gaps, you're going to have 10 mean analogies. All together, 20. And what's interesting, of course, is that people who get involved in that curious field, uh, what do they call those people that bang pots and pans and things like that together? Easy. Huh? Musicians. Musicians, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're constructing the Greek diatonic scale. What's so hot about that, if you can see? With this then, this model, you can move to any area of Greece in the old days, and what can you do? If you know this mathematics, you can set the tunes to the proper tune. Tonality, can you know? Therefore, everyone then can play similar music and therefore the cohesion in their culture. Since, or would you say, oh, no, no, it's better for each city to have its own way of tuning instruments. Might be, but then you can never have a universal song and music. And this brings order. This, bring, right. this brings a modality yeah. to the central theme for each, central theme. each, uh, each section. Yeah. That's brilliant. What about um, architecture? Sir? What about architecture? I'm not against it. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'd rather you talk about it. No! <laughs> I'd rather I talk about it. Who's that? Well, it, are this, well no, look. You, you know that there's 10 on each side. There's 20 total. Um, that's more work than I've done. Uh, I was just wondering if you okay. know if the same analogies are used in their architecture. I have an idea. 
<laughs> so it's his idea. Shouldn't Shouldn't I expect him to, to do the work and come back <laughs> next week and talk about it? Mm -hmm. Would that be fair? Mm -hmm. Shall we vote on it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Done. Democracy. <laughs> You've been democratized. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't believe I can do that. So. Well, there is several classic works on architecture, and they are available, and they do talk about the principles. <laughs> Um, it's uh, well established. It's a good idea. But okay, let's go. All right, R push on or? <coughs> yeah. All right, hold your hats then. Here we go. Do you want a couple more lines or pass the buck? Um, after that. Never. After, after that. that he went on to fill up the intervals in the series of the powers of two and the intervals in the series of powers of three in the following men. Want me to continue? Yes, please. He cut off yet further portions from the original mixture and set them in between the portions above. Re the portions above rehearsed. <clears throat> what? Mm -hmm. He cut off yet further portions from the original mixture and set them in between the portions above rehearsed so as to place two means in each interval. One, a mean which exceeded its extremes and was by them exceeded by the same proportional part or fraction of each of the extremes respectively. What does that mean? I don't know. I didn't hear it. Do it again. One, a mean which exceeded its extremes and oh. was by them exceeded by the same proportional yeah. part or fraction That's what we did. of each of the extremes yeah. respectively. No. Yeah. I've never gotten that. Look, big, big issue, you see. If you were to study mathematics as a student in Greece, right, at 300 B.C., 400 B.C., anywhere along those years. If you're studying geometry, book five and book seven are books on analogy. You could. No. Why? Because the Latin use of the word an <coughs> analogia or analogy is proportion. When you use numbers, instead of symbols, we call it proportions. It's the same rules for proportion and analogy because it's the same word. One is being translated through Latin, the other is translated through Greek. So this description here matches perfectly what you'd find in Euclid Book 5 and Definition 5.5, five. Book 5, Definition 5, right? So it's all there. To us, we go, huh? You see, any kid who learns book five and book seven has an insight, therefore, into the fact that you can move from numbers to symbols to ideas. They practiced it. You see, they practice it. That's their practice. We drop it. And a lot of people make fun of the use of analogies and we're the Greek world for getting that, analogy and proportion at the same time. <laughs> and there are other things behind that, but we'll hold it up. Fine. So, what you're having here in this description comes right out of Euclid's elements. Okay, jump ahead. Um, One a mean which exceeded its extremes and was by them exceeded by the same proportional part or fraction of each of the extremes respectively. The other a mean which exceeded one extreme by the same number or integer as it was exceeded by its own by its other extreme. By the way, um, if you multiply the extremes, you get three. 
and it means you get four, so it's not a geometric, is it? But the difference between these two is one, is it not? The difference between one and two is one? <coughs> and the difference between three, two and three is? One. That's an arithmetic mean proportion. Okay, charge ahead. And whereas the insertion of these links formed fresh intervals in the former intervals, that is to say, intervals of 3 is to 2 and 4 is to 3 and 9 is to 8, he went on to fill up the 4 to 3 intervals with See, 9. He's doing the mathematics two. for you. This still left over in each case a fraction, which is represented by the terms of the numerical ratio. Yeah, we can do the mathematics later. I just want to get to the ideas first. Okay, go ahead. And thus the mixture from which he had made cutting these portions off was now all spent. It's all spent. Nothing left over. Total. Go ahead. Next, he split all this fat. Next, he split all this that he had put together into two parts lengthwise. And then he laid the twin. Look, see? This he split off, and this, see? Two strips. And then he laid the twain one against the other, the middle of one to the middle of the other, mm -hmm. like a great cross and bent either of them into a circle and joined them, each <laughs> to itself and also to the other, at a point opposite to where they had been first laid together. And he com compassed them about with the motion that revolves in the same spot continually. And he made the one circle outer and the other inner. And the outer motion he ordained to be the motion of the same, and the inner motion the motion of the other. And he made the motion of the same to be toward the right along the side, and the motion of the other to be toward the left along the side diagonal. And he gave the sovereign sovereignty to the revolution of the same and of the uniform. For this alone he suffered to remain uncloven, whereas he split the inner revolution in six places into seven unequal circles, according to each of the intervals of the double and triple intervals, three double and three triple. Five, these, three doubles, three triples. Yeah, go ahead. These two circles then he appointed to go in contrary directions. And of the seven circles into which he split the inner circle, he appointed three to revolve at an equal speed, the other four to go at a speeds equal neither with each other nor with the speed of the aforesaid three. Yet moving at speeds, the ratios of which one to another are those of natural integers. Hey, so what? Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's what I always say. Oy, oy, oy. So what? We can skip this there for it, can't we? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, what's so hot about do, do, doing it this way? What do you get for it? Our, our solar system. Pardon? You can get a solar system out of this for one. That's thing, true. That, okay, it's for a solar system. But you, okay, you're also, well, or the cosmos, if you will. But now that's good for me, too. I like that. We're talking about the solar system. Well, he calls it the solar Yeah, that's true. Well, as I said, solar. Okay, all right, let's go. Well, maybe it's very beautiful. What? It's, perhaps it's very beautiful. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, throw in beauty. <laughs> throw it in. Throw right? It in. Okay, okay. Order. Yeah, okay, order. I'll put in order. <laughs> okay. 
we get fries with what else would you put in? What you're showing here basically is the process of the whole thing mixing it un that's true. unto itself. Yeah, that's there. So you have that, which is what we discussed up here. Yeah, yeah. So you're just sure. rediscussing it and reiterating it this way mathematically. Yeah, yeah. And harmonizing it. Yeah. So where do you want to take it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I have some other names, too? No, no, no. This is everything, man. Nothing left out. Well, I'm for it. Okay. Well, it's good enough. For what? Huh? Let me do it again. Huh? For what? Good enough for what? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. Uh... Uh, can someone, uh, my memory is very bad. <clears throat> oh, like, what is, how, how is the idea being described? Anyone got a quote? No, you 28 again. It goes back somewhere, I remember. It goes back to 28, aren't we? Well, let's go it's there. repetition, because if we're talking about a god, that's it right there. So this is, that's probably a representation of the planet Earth, because it's all completely self-contained within itself, both in spin and in axis. Okay, then, okay. Take a look now, all right? 28, go ahead. Yeah. Um, how would you describe, and how can it be apprehended? Relationship. Oh. You're not in the book. Mm. Get on the book. <clears throat> what, do you, what do you come without a book for? Oh, I, I don't have Ah, fooey on you. Apprehend you know, by... Uh, just like to sit on the sidelines? That's yep. no good. Sorry. Use your head, save your hair. That's how people get bald. Isn't that true? They pull their hair out of their head, don't they? Yeah. Well, no, just look at any girl and you can see how smart she is. <laughs> well, right? If she's bald, you know, she's done what? <coughs> pull all their hair out of her head, right? She's so frustrated, right? Never go out with a bald-headed girl. They're frustrated, right? <laughs> Wait a minute, let me check. Is that true? <laughs> there, see? It's true. Get back on the text. Come on. 28. Apprehensible by intellect and the aid of lotus. Oh, intellect, noose, right? Noose. Right. And logos. 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 Ah. Then whenever you use the word being, you have to keep this word being connected with how it's apprehended. Logos. Agree? Would you agree we talked about the difference between the word being and he changes the word in Greek to ousia? Yes. And Thomas Taylor uses the word essence so you can see there's a different word being used than the word being. So look here. What's so hot? The text, please. Same question. What do we know about our sin? It has a curious property. What's the property about it? It pulls in on itself. It's dynamic, it's dynamic. right? It turns, it, it turns upon itself, right? On a point, turns about. So, at the very nature of the essence of the soul, 
What power does it have? Its ability to reflect upon itself. Ah, so what? Okay, this is just a tangent. Forget about it. Yeah. Could the, could the process be called as a total if use is included from ACES? Yes, it goes there. Yes, we need but to put without, that in, but, but not news, at this point. No, We're getting close. I know, but without news and OSEA, yeah. phonesis cannot occur. Yeah, because, give me the quote, I need it. Oh, I don't know. What <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw that two yeah. weeks ago and I kept my mouth shut. But oh, no, well, next time he keeps his mouth shut, it's up to you to fuck him. <laughs> right? That's it. Pour coffee on him. Right. <clears throat> Hey, look here now. <coughs> what is this word now? <coughs> what are you saying? Me. Functioning differently, therefore it gets a new name. Being. But the kind of being that has this property, Usir. Oh, this is Usir. This is Usir. Only this is partible and this is not. Mm -hmm. And he's mixing it with Usio. Ah, and it becomes part of it. Oh. Oh. Does that mean it's always uh, mixing? Never stops. Never stops. Therefore, that kind of reflection never stops, that kind of activity. So, hey, by the way, so what? See this beautiful diagram? So what? Well, if, if we go back to the text at 29, it said, he had his eye on the eternal. Right. Okay. So we got the text. Okay, look. Uh, what's outside? What's inside in this model if we just constructed? Uh, same as outside. What? Same as outside. Which one is outside? Same. Same. What does outside mean? Covers Wait. it. Cover. Gone. Covers it. Is that right? Engulfs it. Circumstance. Embraces Circumstance. it. Is that right? Is that correct? Yes. Oh. So what embraces the universe? Same. 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 Soul. But the function, but of course it is soul, but soul is what? Being. The three parts? Other. Same other. Which is, that's a name he's giving you since it functions differently, but what's the thing behind the name? Essence. Essence or Usu, right? Ah, and that's where? Is that inside or outside? Makes a big difference. Outside. If it's outside, then it does what? Embraces. It engulfs, it embraces, right? Ah, then what kind of a universe do we have in the soul? Embracing the universe. Totally covered. And, and it can be apprehended. <laughs> but when it functions this way, we might be able to apprehend it in a different way, which is where we're going. Right? Ah. But isn't that, isn't that, isn't he saying that's the soul itself? That's the soul. But see, the soul is going to be spread out through the entire cosmos. Therefore, the entire cosmos is soul. And embraced by? Yeah. We see it. No. So spread out through Same. and embraced by. Yeah. Now, what does that mean it can do? 
It can part. I didn't hear it. Turn back upon itself. And therefore, what is it doing? It can communicate with itself. Mm -hmm. Is that right? It can know itself. It can communicate to itself. Depending upon the way in which it can be said to be apprehended. Two kinds of apprehension. Let's get them. Need another reader? Daniel, want something? What number? Gina, where, where did you lose A 36E. Right at and when? Yeah. And when the construction of the soul had all been completed to the satisfaction of its constructor. Ah, see, it's got to pass this test. Ah, that's pretty good. Go ahead. Then he fabricated within it all the corporeal, corporeal, and uniting them center to center, he made them fit together. Yeah. And the soul being woven throughout the heavens. See, the soul being woven throughout the heavens. Every way from the center to the extremity. Right, from the center to the extremities. Therefore, the soul is all right, spills out over the entire cosmos. And enveloping it in the Enveloping it, right, enveloping it. From without. And herself revolving within herself began a divine see, see that? What is it doing? Revolving. Watch the words always with motion. Of unceasing and intelligent life. The key part of the time is, is going to be when he says, you know what, you have to match, you have to match the motions of the universe, his cosmos, with your own soul. If so, then there's a harmony between the motions of the soul, particular soul, and the cosmos. If so, then you're cooking. See, this dialogue gives you this. This awakens this. And that's why it's good. See, they're, they work together. Okay. Jump in. Is that the same intellect that comes as a noose? Yes. So then yes. Has yes. you in the Republic? Yes. That is news, right. And herself revolving within herself began to that? Divine. Revolving, so see. Always watch those words and what's doing it because that's what you have to match later. Go ahead. Began a divine beginning of unceasing and intelligent life lasting throughout. Intelligent all life, life, that's a phony translation. What's the other word? Thomas Taylor, quick. Emphronos. What? It's a. It's a phronesis. It's a form of phronesis, yeah. or prudent, or prudent. Emphronos. Right, 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 right. Having phronesis. That's where phronesis of. comes back in. Yeah, it with the key. Yeah. Part being in, like yeah, there's an yeah. in there. That's right. And we have to pull all of those phronesis together to see why he's putting it in here and why it's necessary. Otherwise, we're not reading. Okay. Keep going. And uh, herself revolving within herself began a divine beginning of unceasing and intelligent life lasting throughout all time. And whereas the body of the heaven is visible, the soul is herself invisible, but partakes in reasoning and in harmony. Ah, partakes of logos. Rational energy. And rational energy. Rational energy, which is logisticon or some form of it. No, logos. Logos. Right? Having come into existence by the agency of the best of things intelligible and ever existing as the best of things generated. All right. Now, we pass on to the next theme, which is, so what can it do? Go ahead. Inasmuch then as she is a compound, 
blended of the natures of the same and the other. So he drops this language that we see in being, and now we just use same and other. Go ahead. And being these three portions, and is proportionately <coughs> divided and bound together, and revolves back upon herself. That, so you hear that? What does it do? Revolves back upon itself, see? Because that's the very property of a seer. Right, go ahead. Whenever she touches anything which has its substance dispersed, or anything which has its substance undivided, she is moved throughout her whole being and announces what the object is identical with and from what it is different and in what relation, where and how and when it comes about that each thing exists and is acted upon by others both in the sphere of the becoming and in that of the ever uniform. Hey, what's it doing now? What can it do? Name. Name. Dialectic. Dialectic. Right. What, can <clears throat> what can it do? Take a look. Analyzing what? Well, it's able to analyze. analyze. It's able to analyze. All things. And with the full force of its being, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Where and how and when? What is it? As you look at it, uh, by the way, how many points are being mentioned? How many? How many? Some number between 1 and 20. How many? A definite number. Yeah. Point. How many? From, from what's the farthest to what's the farthest? Well, from 9 points. Uh, count them. Come on. 1, 2, 3. How many? Give me a number. When you get a number, pick something that you can ask those questions about and tell me what it is you would then know or learn if you were then to apply those categories or those interrogatives, right? Question. Agree? Got it? Remember, this is before individual souls. This is cosmic. This is the world soul, cosmic soul, spread throughout the heavens. Mm -hmm. Right? Man isn't up. It doesn't appear yet. <coughs> but take that as an example. Okay? Take anything you want. something you're interested in. Okay, give me something you're interested in. Bad girls. Good. Try it, okay? Socrates. Go ahead. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> Good choice. Okay, do it through each of the categories. Do it. <laughs> what? The same? Difference. Different? Right, come on, try it. Come on, go through the categories.
And tell me, by the way, the ones he missed. Louder, please. Limit and unlimited. Huh. Oh. And this is similar. Hey, you could put you could put in uh, demiurgos, couldn't you? What is the demiurgos? Mm -hmm. How does he differ from other things? Why? In relationship to what? Right. Where, when, how, when? Right? Where, how, when? Right. And what is it uh, that is acted uh, upon and uh, etc.? Come on. Could you do it? What do you get when you do it is what I want to know. I'm not sure the question is there's only seven ways of seven motions. That's true. Seven motions. That's yeah. true. It's up, down, in, out, left, right. Uh -huh. Forward, backwards. Uh -huh. Is that what you're asking? Uh-huh. Well, it's like you get a logos. Uh, that's what you have here is you get a seven. Come on. Come on. But, but here, don't we have to go back to our premise about how this shows the providence of God is functioning in this description? You might be able to conclude that one. Let's try. Because that's our, that's our premise. That's our premise. So stick in, see, those are really two kinds of questions. We could put in God in there with the demiurgos, or we could put in providence. Mm -hmm. Or we could the, link them together. Right, right? but the providence issue is providence. it has to show the providence. Yeah. Providence is the a bottom reason, line here. The reason I'm not doing that is because we haven't yet grasped what he means by providence. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm but not, if you have it, I don't mind. No, 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 I'm just saying... It has to fit in to the definition of providence because that is our assumption. Oh, so sure. Providence is. That's right. Is another question. That's right. To quote somebody, you know, directly. That's right. <laughs> okay. <coughs> yeah, but Pierre already said that. Um, Say, so why do you think uh, who was not in that list? Why? Why? Well, that's what I asked. You asked what was not in the list, and I said, why isn't? And who? Who? And who? Yeah, right, 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 right. Thank you. I thought you meant it the other way. Why am I saying uh -oh. how? <laughs> Why am I saying who? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done that with something? Can you try it? Is it worth doing? Yeah. What did you find? Did you do it? Uh, no, I haven't done it. Really? Sir, would you mind encouraging to do it? Do it. Thanks, sir. Thank I like you. to do these things by myself. I mean, okay. uh, not in front of others. Then get someone else to volunteer. <laughs> Okay, stick in the demiurgos. What do you discover? Come on. Do it. Let's go through the categories. Who's got who's got them? Who's got them? I have them. Thank you. Focus. Jump same. in. Same. What's the demiurgos the same as? Is that how you do it? No, no, no. Just read it. Just read it. Same, different. To what related, where, how, when, what affects it, or what is it, what it, does it affect, what is generated, and what is external to it. Okay. Can you stick in the, the, the demiurgos now and talk about each one of those categories, please? Well, the demiurgos, it is the same. It is made up of. 
I just wanted someone to go through all of it, that's all, just to see whether it was worthwhile doing. See, I was, was not the issue. How do you My, do it? Well, I get mad at some people for me. Yeah, I really want somebody to do it. I would love to do Wait it. Wait a minute, she wants Go ahead, but, I'd love to do it, but you'd have to make sure that you know exactly how the demiurgos is described in its total list before you even try, right? I mean, Please don't tell me the difficulties you're going to have. Just do it. <laughs> God. I, don't, I haven't even started. He's already telling us how much trouble he's going to have, and he hasn't <laughs> done it. God. He wants you to ex tell him why he's excused, because it's too much work. No, I'm not saying it's too much. Well, the idea in the mind of the Demiurgus is the same as its father. Same as? As the father, as its creator, or the original idea. The idea in the mind of the Demiurgus is the same as the father. Okay, so how does that relate? It's also the same as his crea the creation. Here, why don't we try and put this in a mean analogy for each category? Mm -hmm. Why do we try to put it in a mean analogy for each category? I don't mind. Oh, I see. Okay. But would that take us away from Pierre's question? I'll check it. Okay, well, let's try it. I think you should do it, Pierre. Yeah. <coughs> you look ready to work. <laughs> Take us through. This is called, uh, see it, lambda. So, um, let's go. Uh, must you have those categories in your your book? Could you read them for me? Uh, what the option? That's enough. Right, read it again. Uh, what, what the object is identical with. Hi. What is this identical to? The idea. Well, could... Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, just just run. When he talks about the Demiurgos, he says that he was good. Yeah, I heard Dylan. And Dylan. So Could he you just okay, go through go ahead. it? We're what? just talking, Jane, we're talking just about this construction. Oh, okay. Sorry. What the object is identical with. What? This construction. And from what it is different. Pardon me, do it again. Okay. The categories. What the object is identical with. Mm -hmm. And from what it is different. Ah. Um, and what relation where and how and when and especially when where and how and when it comes about that each thing exists so, can you do this much? sure Look here, can you do this one? What the op... See, look, you, well, what is this identical to? What is this identical to? Well, 
later it's clear that this is identical to the formula that locates the planets in the cosmos. Agree? So it's a possession, a position of the heavenly bodies in this, in this uh, solar system if you're only using eyes and not telescopes, right? Okay. Mm. Now, same. Uh, what is it, how does it differ? And what does it differ? Well, because this is the nature of the soul, developing the nature of the soul. Uh, what relation? Come on, try it. Where? The moment of creation of the soul. How? Well, we're seeing how it's being dispersed and divided into these. When? What? So, could someone ask you about this? Yes. Using these questions? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're not finished with them. Go ahead. Um, what the object is identical with, and from what it is different, and in what relation, where, and how, and when, it comes about that each thing exists. Hey, and how does it come about that it exists? That would you'd have to fill that in, would you? How's it, how is it that it comes to exist? Well, through that mixture. Is that right? Go ahead. Make divisions. I'm making the divisions. Yes or no? And is acted upon by others, both in the sphere of the becoming and in that of the ever uniform. No, same and other. Ah. ah. Take this out. Put Demi in its place. Put anything you want. Whatever you get, though, if you were to do it and have that in your mind, would it be worth doing? That's, that's the issue. Would it make you go back and rethink this or rethink this? Could you do it with this? Yes. You have um, if so, then it's a way of understanding. Hey, what are we after? Understanding. How to think this way. Uh, analysis. Mm -hmm. Analysis. Logos. Analysis. Using the mind. Using the mind. Ah, it's enough. Wow. Right. What?